Hey gang, Power is back with another video review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Power King. And Power King is a sword comprised of four. This is part two from the first part that you're seeing with the elephant and the other guys. So let's get into this. It's going to be very interesting. So stick around. We got a lot to cover. Okay, so amongst the first of them that we are going to cover, this is the Black Moose. Or you can call him the... Uh, giant moose sword i guess this is the black sword and this is number five to complete that set of rangers so here he is he's very very huge especially compared to the rest of these swords and you can kind of tell what he's going to be when it comes to the megazord of the sword but it is a very nice sword indeed now the points of articulation are indeed right here in his feet or hooves i should say and they're is sort of like a bend, but there's not technically a bend in the kneecap, but that's okay. It works. The head can move up and down. I don't think it's articulated. Nope. It can just get down for grazing. I mean, that's pretty dope always, but it's, you know, it's reasonable, man. It's, it's at a point that I think is looking pretty good, man. It's looking pretty good. So you get a good look in the back. Uh, there are some nice details. There's blue, there's gold, there's yellow, there's black gray there's a lot of colors there's even white so it's overall a really nice sword and i just love how appealing it is i'm trying to do this without knocking over my freaking camera i always hit it um yeah so that's pretty much it let's take a look at another sword shall we okay guys so i'm back and what we have here is zord six and seven we have axe bull and we have hammeram axe bull and hammeram this is like a pickaxe, Texas Longhorn type style deal. And this is a hammer slash ram. So let's take a look at Hammer Ram. And Hammer Ram is the yellow Zord. So we have gray horns here that exactly look like hammers. Sort of like a hammer thing going on there. Uh, his neck is there, there's articulation. It can move, he can graze also up and down. It's on a ball joint, so it's very articulated. Uh, the legs don't move at all, but they kind of do that thing for transformation. And then there's this little tiny nub. That's his connector port slash peg for the Zord. So I found out with the quality, it takes a while for it to buffer on YouTube. So within a few hours after I upload, it's going to be in 4K or a day. That's how long it takes for it to buffer all the way to that point. I don't know why, but it does. So yeah, let's move that and take a look at this. Texas Longhorn, beautiful bull there. I just love how the uh, iPhone 11 captures all of the detail very nicely. My old camera, there's nothing wrong with it. But you know, it's time for that upgrade. You know, you need that. So, you know, just really all nice, a nice design. Same deal here, it's just his legs sort of move. But And one thing I've noticed that they're not even, but who cares, it doesn't matter. As long as it works. Once you spread them out like that, it should work. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the Texas Longhorn. Now, let's get on to another farm animal, shall we? We have the cow truck or the milk machine. You see the windshield are the eyes. The mouth is, of course, split between the grill and the nostrils there. Uh, we also have these nice wheels and just the horns up there. Overall, really simple and nice design. I do like how this one came out, and it was not originally looking like this. This was actually a bird, but I said, no, nah, we don't need a bird. We need another animal with horns. So, cow, milk machine. There's that, the white one. So, let's combine everything and see how they look together. All right, so the combination is very interesting. So, check out how this goes. Let's just sit the big guy to the side. You know he's going to be the entire body. So, let's start off with Hammer Ram. Now, what we do with Hammer Ram first is we're going to fold up each leg these also on the soft ratchets can get folded up then we pull this out and rotate it all the way around once we do that we can pull this tab sort of down like that and here's one of the arms and we're also going to size compare each sword so don't worry about that so there's that we can then get the uh we can get axe bull or bull axe whatever you want to call them uh fold up his legs then we get these legs and we fold them around sort of like and once we fold them around we're going to fold these up like so and we're going to pull 
this out sort of just a little bit like that and this will fold over it then we have us another arm ready for combination do, 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 do. I believe yeah that's how it would go I think it's this way yeah I think it's like that yeah like this so there's that and of course we got milk machine and the big guy so let's start off with milk machine the way this one works it's gonna form the head we're going to fold these up once we fold those up this is already down so that's great we can sort of I should have just done it like just like that we're going to fold these up and these out like that sort of like this giving him this uh interesting head I should put him like that yeah giving him this sort of gal king type head but not exactly gal king okay so now here's the big guy bring him in bring him in all right so to transform this dude is very easy but it is interesting so the first thing we are going to do is stand him up all the way once we do you can rotate those on those beautiful clicky ratchets ah, like that fold up the tail once you do that you then have his legs all ready for a power king if i can get him to stand straight he can and he holds his weight very very well so let's just raise this up just a little bit Alrighty. now what i'm going to do is i'm going to open these up fold this all the way down these can sort of just go back just like that, just a teensy weensy little bit. Alrighty, we're gonna fold these all the way around, like so. Whoa, that's why I wanted to uh, fold those back in the, because of that reason right there. Alrighty, so now that we got that sort of done, let's get these arms connected. So first, we're going to get this, Plug it, come on buddy. Plug it right on in there. Oh, it's already plugged in. So we're good. Alrighty, let's get this guy. Plug him in there. Just trying to make sure everything is right in order. Then we're gonna get milk machine and we're gonna plug it. Uh, let me move these to the side just a little bit. And then we're going to plug it all like that. Then we're going to put these in and these can fold up just like that and here is our megazord uh oh yep so here is our megazord when it's all merged up it looks freaking awesome i love the color scheme the yellow the blue the gold the black the white everything just fits so well you guys be the judge of this one okay so articulation of course you know you got the ratchets on the 360s that's what we do here of course, you got the hammer ram hand for the hammer, which is really cool. Sleek, not too much. Then you, of course, got that pickaxe on the other side. In case someone wants to come close range, you can really get a good go shadow. So, there's that. There is also leg articulation. All the way there. So, you know you're going to get some plausibility out of this guy for this video really cool stuff there i do have another zord or two to go for you guys so don't forget this is just barely the beginning of the wave and we're going to do a quick little size comparison and limb swapping and then we're going to close the review so stay tuned for that so here they are right next to each other looking great and all spiffy in every aspect possible. Let's move them a little closer and get a good look side by side, everything just, oh man, I love these guys. So, height. This guy is standing at about 12 inches almost. About almost a foot tall. This is a pretty big Zords, man, I'm telling you. Uh, this guy next to him, is about 11 and a half inches. He's shorter only because this guy has that horn. But if he didn't have the horn, he would really stand at 10 and a half inches, about regular size or length, like Kyoryujin size. So 
let's check out the limb swappy. And since I got a new camera with a ton of space, this should be a lot easier to do on camera. So let's pull these suckers out and get them connected on the other body. Woo! Trust me, this is one of the scariest things to do. This. Ah! You see why? This is this. Ah! It was worse than you thought it was, but trust me, it was pretty bad. So when the limb slop, uh, limb swapped, things looked very interesting, but odd. It got weird really fast for me. Um, the colors don't necessarily fit this sword. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It may be blue and yellow and red and green, but dude, this does not fit. It looks a mess. I mean, it's cool, but it's really a mess on this end. This is a bigger mess because this arm just really doesn't fit it. They fit the other Zords much more in a better way. Um, I definitely should have made auxiliaries, but I didn't because I got better stuff planned for you guys. So, that's pretty much it for this review though, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Guys, please get this to a thousand views. And I will treat you guys well. So, that's, that's it for this video review. Like, comment, subscribe. This is Power Breaks signing off. Peace out.